Isaiah chapter 32, roughly page 438 in the scriptures. What Bible is that, Bear? It's the scriptures, isr-messianic.org. Use whatever translation you prefer. I like this one. Isaiah 32. See, a sovereign, a king, shall reign in righteousness, and rulers rule in right ruling. This is Yeshua, prophetic. Isaiah was a prophet, and this is prophetic. Rulers ruling in right ruling with justice, per the law, is because of the king who is reigning in righteousness. And this ruler is here, you know, See, I shall make you a nation of kings and priests after my own heart, says Yah. Yeah, because of Yeshua, who is the king ruling in righteousness. And each one shall be as a hiding place from the wind and a shelter from the downpour, a refuge. Each one of these rulers shall be like a refuge, as rivers of water in a dry place, as a shadow of a great rock in a weary land, like a, a piece of shade when it's super hot. And the eyes of those who see are not dim, and the ears of those who hear listen. So those that can recognize, good. And the heart of the rash understand knowledge, and the tongue of the stammerers hurries to speak plainly. A fool is no longer called noble, nor the scoundrel said to be respectable because of right ruling. For a fool speaks folly and his heart works wickedness to practice filthiness and to speak against Yahuwah, that which misleads to starve the being, to starve the, whole, the soul of the hungry and to withhold the drink from the thirsty. And the methods of the scoundrel are evil. He has devised wicked plans to destroy the poor with words of falsehood, even when the needy pleads for right ruling. But the generous one devises what is generous and by generous deeds, he rises up. Rise up, you women who are at ease. Hear my voice. Rise up, you complacent daughters. Listen to my speech. In little more than a year, you shall be troubled, you complacent women. For the great harvest shall fail. The ingathering shall not come. Tremble, you women who are at ease. Be troubled, you complacent ones. Strip yourselves. Make yourselves bare and gird sackcloth on your waists. Lament upon the breasts for the pleasant fields for the fruit-bearing vine. Weed and thorn bushes come up over the ground of my people. Indeed, all of, all of the houses of joy, the city of revelry. For the palace is abandoned. This, these are the people who didn't listen. For the palace is abandoned. Crowded city deserted. Hill and watchtower serve as caves forever. A joy of wild donkeys, a pasture of flocks. Until the spirit is poured upon us. From on high, and the wilderness shall become garden land, and the garden land be reckoned as a forest. Then right ruling shall dwell in the wilderness, and righteousness remain in the garden land. What's righteousness? Luke 1 verse 6, blamelessly walking in the commands. The work of righteousness shall be peace, and the service of righteousness be rest and safety forever. My people shall dwell in a home of peace and in safe dwellings, and in undisturbed resting places, even when hail shall fall, felling the forest, and the city be brought low in humiliation. Blessed are you who sow beside all the waters, who send out the foot of the ox and the donkey. Blessed are you who do stuff. Plant and till in righteousness. Chapter 33. Woe to you, ravager, while you have not been ravaged, and you treacherous, while they have not betrayed you. When you have ceased ravaging, you shall be ravaged. And when you stop betraying, they shall betray you. <clears throat> o Yahuwah, show us favor, for we have waited for you. Be their arm every morning, our deliverance also in the time of distress. At the noise of the rumbling of the people shall flee. When you lift yourself up, the nations shall be scattered. And your plunder shall be gathered like the gathering of the caterpillar. As locusts rush about, they rush upon them. Yahuwah is exalted, for he dwells on high. He has filled Zion with right ruling and righteousness. Again, right ruling, justice, righteousness, blamelessly walking in the commands of Yah. Gospel of Luke chapter 1 verse 6. And Yah is filling Zion with this, Israel with this. And he, Yahuwah, shall be, tr be the trustworthiness of your times, a wealth of deliverance, wisdom, and knowledge. The fear of Yahuwah, that is his treasure. You know, in Revelation 3, uh, 
verse 18, Yeshua is rebuking the church at Laodicea. And he says, buy from me refined gold, treasure, the fear of Yahuwah, that is his treasure. Solomon, Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 12, verses 13 and 14. Let us hear the conclusion of the matter. Fear Yahuwah and keep his commands. For all works shall be brought into right ruling, whether they be good or they be evil. Fear Yah, do what he told you to do. That's the treasure. See their brave ones shall cry outside. The messengers of peace weep bitterly. The highways shall be deserted. The wayfaring man shall have ceased. He has broken the covenant. He has despised the cities. He respected no man. The earth shall mourn and languish. This is the what happens when you break the covenant. The earth shall mourn and languish. Lebanon shall be ashamed. Sharon shall be withered like a desert. And Bashan and Carmel be shaking. Now I rise up, declares Yahuwah. Now I am exalted. Now I am lifted up. You conceive chaff. You bring forth stubble. Your spirit devours like fire. And peoples shall be like the burning of lime, the thorn cut up that they are burned in the fire. You who are afar off, hear what I shall do. And you who are near, know my might. Sinners in Zion shall be afraid. Sinners in Zion. Zion is Israel. What is Israel? Genesis 32. He who is struggling with Elohim, he who is overcome with Elohim, and he who is ruling with Elohim. Israel is the family, not the nation state, not the dirt over there in the Middle East. So sinners in Zion. What is sin? 1 John 3 verse 4. Sin is lawlessness. So the lawless people in the family... Sinners in Zion, the lawless people in the family, shall be afraid. Trembling shall grip the defiled ones. Who of us shall dwell with the devouring fire? Who of us shall dwell with everlasting burnings? Sheol, the place of the dead. He who walks straight. He who walks righteously and speaks what is straight. He who rejects the gain of oppressions. He who keeps his hand from accepting bribes. Who stops his ear from hearing of bloodshed and shuts his eyes from seeing evil. This is the Torah. All that's Torah. He who does the Torah, he shall inhabit the heights. Stronghold of rocks be his refuge. His bread shall be given to him. His water be steadfast. You see a compare contrast here? Those that are burned up like cut thorns because they broke the covenant versus he who walks righteously, he shall inhabit the heights. The stronghold of the rocks be his refuge. His bread shall be given to him. His water be steadfast. Your eyes shall see the king and his comeliness. Yeshua's return. See a land that is far off. Your eyes. He who walks righteously. Your eyes shall see the king and his comeliness. See a land that is far off. Your heart ponders fear. Where is the scribe? Where is he who weighs? Where is he who counts the towers? No longer shall you see a fierce people of too deep a lip to hear, of a jabbering tongue no one understands. See Zion, the city of our appointed time. Zion, Israel, appointed times, the Moedim, the feasts, the high Sabbaths, Leviticus 23. Your eyes shall see Jerusalem, an undisturbed home, a tent not taken down. This is Revelation imagery, Revelation 21. A new heaven and a new earth and a new... Jerusalem and the new temple and the temple is Yah who has come down. He is the physical temple where everybody worships because sin can't exist in the presence of the father, right? Well, it'd be really good to know what sin is. First John three, verse four, sin is transgression of the law. And there are those who think they're in the family, but who are lawless. Sinners in Zion shall be afraid, verse 14. See Zion, the city of your appointed time, your eyes shall see Jerusalem. An undisturbed home, a tent not taken down, its stakes are never removed, nor any of its cords broken. But there, great is Yahuwah for us. A place of broad rivers, streams in which no boat with oars sails, nor big ships pass by, for Yahuwah is our judge. Yahuwah is our inscriber. Yahuwah is our king. He saves us. Your ropes shall be slack. They do not strengthen their mast. They shall not spread the sail. Then the prey of the great plunder shall be divided. 
the lame shall take prey. Neither shall the inhabitants say, I am sick. The people who dwell in it is forgiven their crookedness. Those who dwell in Zion, their crookedness has been forgiven. Yeshua, covered by the blood of the Lamb. Revelation 21, 27, the new city, Jerusalem. And there shall by no means enter into it whatever is unclean, neither anyone doing abomination and falsehood, but only those who are written in the Lamb's book of life. Hmm. Doing abominations and falsehoods. That's against the teachings of the Bible, which is the Torah. And then you... Same page, 20, 22, verse 12 through 14. And see, this is Yeshua speaking. And see, I am coming speedily, and my reward is with me to give to each according to his work. I am the Aleph and the Tab, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are those doing his commands, doing Elohim's commands, so that the authority shall be theirs to enter into the tree of life and to enter through the gates into the city. Jerusalem over here. See Zion, the city of our appointed time. Your eyes shall see Jerusalem. The people who dwell in it, it's forgiven their crookedness. Yeah. Congruency. First page, last page. Praise Yah for Yeshua as the righteous king. See, a king shall return in righteousness and rulers rule in right ruling. Amen. Shabbat shalom, y'all.